In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Well, we're doing our regular practice session this morning, just like we always do, and trying just to keep everything super, super light. When I do my scales, I just try to keep uh, keep my bow especially short, so it's almost like I'm just kind of moving without moving. I'm just going across. more pressure on this I'm keeping this light it's almost like being right-handed isn't it if you ever want to know what it's like to be right-handed play the violin social justice. That's the biggest problem right now in the United States is we don't have people with personal holiness seeking justice out in the world. Just like Mother Teresa, she had that foundation of faith and Pope John Paul II. That's what we really need in the United States. In the leaders especially. And in the cities. A city can do a lot of evil, believe me. And Pope's Falls, look at all them. They're just signing, signing away. And they're bringing all these evil people into the town. They're pushing out the farmers. And it puts pressure on the police department. They have no, the police have no control over all these evil people that are coming into town. The only thing they could do is just go somewhere else and, and be a, a police officer in a more uh, quiet area, you know? I mean, that's what people don't understand. They say, well, the police aren't doing anything. Well, the police aren't Catholic priests. They're not able to convert a bunch of godless crooks. In many ways, they are also the victims. They're victims of the Catholic priests that refuse to go to City Hall. They refuse to go out into the streets calling the people to conversion because they don't want to get, uh, you know, they don't want to get made fun of. Like, when's the last time you've seen a Catholic priest on a bus converting people? Telling them to get a job, you know? twice as fast, not just our spinning on its own axis, but spinning around the earth, around the sun, twice as fast, meaning we'll have a six month year and a 12 hour day. I have to keep my first finger really light there.
lead with one hand or the other, they just work together. <laughs> rise to power in the Catholic churches in North Idaho, especially in the Latin Mass. They love taking over the Latin Mass under the guise of religion. They've pushed people like me out of the church literally with the handshake of the priest. Californians in, but if you're poor, if you're from this area, you're out, you know? And then they wonder why they have so many schisms. But let me tell you, if you're a rich schismatic, they, the FSSP can't shake hands with you fast enough. cloaked in piety, a false piety, and a false brotherhood. And I've seen every single organization get corrupted. It's power. It's their whole position. There's no, they don't think of people really as, uh, there's no like true brotherhood anymore. God could just take their life in a minute, in a heartbeat, that they're just on earth. Totally, we're totally being kept alive by God. And we just don't even think about that. We just want to run people over. And I see this going on so much in the workers and in the leaders of all these Catholic organizations. It doesn't matter who you are. St. Michael's wrote a postulate, you know, they seem so humble, but then you try to write to them and you just never hear about it. That's not the brotherhood. That's not a society. That's atheism. sick, Anna. I mean, it's sick. It's sick what these priests do in Post Falls. And then they expect you to just apologize to them when you haven't even had the sacraments in over a month and a half you've been so sick. And then they just want to call you out. It's sick. It, they should not be ordained. Someone told me they'll ordain anyone. He'll say that. He'll just say the priest, the priest, the USCCB, they will ordain anyone. And the older generation priests, they just shut up. That's what they've learned. Shut up and put up. Otherwise, you'll get fired, you know, because they put these young guys over on these young priests, you know, and then they don't speak out because they don't want to get fired. <laughs>
water is going to be contaminated. That's why it's so important right now for us to store food and water. Three months worth. It will come when we least expect it. I was just thinking today about how that 2023 came up on the Jacinta 1972 image. 2023. That's significant. Bye.